I'm here at Video Games New York, surrounded by some of the hundreds of titles that come out every year for home consoles. And you know, behind every one of these games, there's a huge team of professionals trying to make the best product ever. And just like any other product, it all starts with a great concept, and that responsibility falls on the game's designer. I went and spoke to Ramiro Corbetta, a designer at Powerhead Games here in New York, to see if he might just have the best job ever. Thanks for having us in, man. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. So I got a question, and it's been bugging me. What does a game designer do? I mean, it's it's a long process. It starts with basically a pitch document, mm -hmm. which means either uh, a publisher wants us to make a certain kind of game, and they'll they'll tell us, you know, we want this game based on this franchise mm -hmm. or this game with this idea, and we will write a pitch document for them. If it gets picked up, you move on to a design document, which is dozens or maybe over 100 pages even. I have a feeling a lot of people think that you just kind of like sit around and like play games and talk about games and like, oh, this would be cool, let's do this. We, like, we have to play games to get an idea of what to do and we play, you know, other games that might be in the same category to see what has been done. But in the end, you have to turn all that idea into paper so that someone can later read and be able to, you know, a programmer can actually program without having to ask you every five minutes, what did you really mean here? So if somebody wanted to, um to develop the skill set that goes into being a game designer. Mm -hmm. What kind of stuff would they study? What did you study? Where did you go to school? Uh, I went to Columbia University. Mm -hmm. I, my degree is actually in philosophy. Around my sophomore year of college, I took a semester off to work as a quality assurance tester at a company up in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And can you tell us a little bit about what a QA tester does? Early on in the project, when you first start testing, it's more about just like finding a mm -hmm. lot of things and you're a tester can find bugs over and over again. Once you're later on in the project, the tester's job is to reproduce bugs and you know find out exactly how a bug happens. And a lot of people start in the industry. That yeah, way. I mean, obviously not everyone, but a lot of people start in quality assurance. So would you recommend that somebody who wanted to go into design goes into quality assurance? Absolutely, yeah. What do, you, what do you like about working at a studio the size of Powerhead? I love working at a small studio. I mean, when I was doing quality assurance at a much bigger company, they, there were like 50 or 60 people there working on one project. Here, it's like, you know, if you're working on a project and let's say you have a small project with like eight, 10 people in it, everyone has a say. You know, we have meetings with the whole team every day. How do you get in the mindset of like making a game that a kid's gonna like? The kids wanna feel cool, you know, they wanna feel like they are the, that cool character that they're into. If you're making a game for a cartoon, you watch the cartoon a lot. You try to get an idea for what they like, but you also just remember what childhood was like, you know? You liked some characters, right? Like, sure. I mean, you play Teenage Mutant Ninja, Teenage Turtles, Ninja Turtles game, Ninja Turtles and you probably games. liked Donatello because he was the cool one. You remember like feeling like you are the Ninja Turtle and like you're fighting the bad guys, and it's that feeling, and like I, I assume the kids are gonna have that feeling when playing my game, and I hope so, you know, that they are that character. It sounds like you really love your job, man. I do, it's, it's a good job. I have no complaints. Excellent, well, I will, leave you to it then and let you make the youth of the world happy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Ramiro. Think Ramiro's job in game design sounds right up your alley? Well, it takes more than just a knowledge of games. Ramiro has extensive project management skills, proficiency in both document and technical writing, and the ability to effectively communicate with both artists and programmers. Now, if game development sounds more your speed, well, we already told you that the go-to language for console games is C++. But if you want to make browser-based entertainment, you're going to want to bone up on your flash action scripting. And all you would-be graphics gurus are going to want to be fluent in 3D Studio Max or Maya. And don't forget, our sponsor Dice.com has literally hundreds of positions in the gaming industry. Just head over to Dice.com and search under gaming, and maybe you'll find your best job ever.